This lesson, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the PMT calculator. So that's going to be the PMT calculator, which is the periodic payment for an annuity investment. So we're going to be looking at how it affects a house price. So this is the house price that you're buying it at. This is the down payment percentage that you're making. So total mortgage amount is going to be 600000 the interest rate that you're going to be paying, the number of years that you're going to be paying this over, and this is where the monthly payment is going to get calculated. And then just down below, I've calculated it out what your monthly, which month of payment, the balance that you have at that current month, the amount of the payment that you're making, the interest that is being charged on the balance, also what the new balance currently is, and then the interest that you've paid cumulatively. So this is gonna be over 120 months, so over a 10 year period, and this is gonna be the final result after 10 years. And of course, you can drag it down longer depending on how many years that you want to make the calculation. So if you make some changes to this, uh, let's say you end up with a 4.25% interest rate that's gonna affect your monthly payment. Uh, maybe you get a little bit less of a down payment, so you're only putting 15% down, Again, monthly payment, all gets calculated, and then you can always see that where you are on each month as you make the payments towards the mortgage. So that's what we're gonna be covering in this lesson. And we'll set the house price, the down payment, and then this is gonna be the mortgage amount. So the house price, if you're buying a house for 500,000, you want to make a down payment of 20% on the house, setting your mortgage amount for that house. Current mortgage amount by using the value from A8 and multiplying it by the value of B8. You need to take A8 and subtract the result of A8 times B8. So that will return back the mortgage amount that we're gonna be taking out on the house so if we were to adjust these numbers and we bought a house for 600,000, that would give us 480,000. I'll also update and format these cells into currency. And this is the total mortgage that we're gonna be taking out. So if we have our mortgage amount and then our interest rate, years of the mortgage. So let's set this to 20 years the monthly payment that we're gonna make. So we can count the PMT, periodic payment with annuity investment, where first we're gonna be setting the interest rate, which is gonna be in D8. And we wanna divide that by 12, so that we're getting a monthly value for that. The number of years and multiply that by 12. So that will give us the number of months. And the number of years is in E8. So multiply that by 12. Subtract the value of C8 for the formula. So that gives us a monthly payment of 2,783.81. And we can see once we make some adjustments, so maybe we buy a cheaper house. So that brings down our monthly payment. Maybe we put a little bit more on the down payment. So once again, brings out our monthly payment. And maybe we get a slightly better interest rate. That again brings down the monthly payment and we extend it over more years. So once again, that brings down our monthly payment. So this is a way that you can use in order to calculate out what the mortgage payments are gonna be. So let's set out the full schedule. So starting on the first month, your balance is gonna be the total that you have from C of 300,000. You're gonna be paying this monthly amount and that's gonna be coming from cell F8. So equal that to F8. The amount of interest that gets charged on the balance amount is gonna be taking the balance amount, which is now B12, and multiplying it by what we have for the interest, which is gonna be sitting in, so that's gonna be column D, using row number eight, and taking that value and dividing it by 12. So that's gonna be the number, the amount of interest that we've paid on this period. And that's, this is gonna be the new balance, which is gonna be a value that's gonna equal 12, subtracting the value 
of the amount that we've paid, which is going to be a total from the amount that we paid from C, 12, subtracting the interest value, which is D, 12. And that's going to be our ending new balance after we've made the payment. You can also calculate the interest paid, and this will just be the cumulative amount that we have from the interest value. And this will be the value from cell number D12. So this is going to be equal to E12, the amount that we're paying. And for the next row, we need to make some adjustments on these amounts. So getting the balance from the old previous new balance, and that's where we're getting the balance. The amount that we're paying is going to stay the same. So it's going to be a static amount coming from column number F with row eight value. So that's the monthly payment value, which is actually coming from F8. And that's not gonna be changing, so we're gonna be using the dollar signs in order to indicate a static value. And the interest paid will be cumulative, so we're gonna add the row above. It will be the amount of D13 plus what we have in the value of F12. We'll set that. And then, so now it's we're on a third month, and that value is correct. That value is correct. The number of interest has gone down slightly. So let's drag it down. So we're gonna go ahead and drag the formula down so that we can have the total calculations for 120 months. And that's gonna be a period of 10 years. And that's gonna be the result here after 10 years of making monthly payments of 1305 to the mortgage. We're gonna have paid 86,000 to the mortgage we're going to have a balance left still on our mortgage of 230,000 and that's coming from the starting balance of 300,000. So let's make some adjustments and we're going to set this over a 10 year period. So now over 10 years, we should have it fully paid off at the end of that 10 year period. And this is going to be the monthly payment at 2,931.57. That's the number of amount of interest that we're paying on that particular month. And this is the cumulative total amount of interest that we've paid over that period. And you can adjust these as needed. You can adjust some of the values. I'm just gonna center it to make it look a little bit better. And depending on what the house price is, so if you bought a house for 800,000 and maybe you got a slightly better interest rate, uh, this would be what your monthly payment would be if you're paying it off in 10 years in full. If you want to stretch that out to 30 years, you can still see what you're going to be at at the end of 10 years. Now you're going to be at this amount, having paid this much in interest, and this is going to be your monthly interest payments. So you can change these numbers and that will affect the payments as well as the balances in the chart below for the details.